Hi kindergartners. The last time that you were in art class, we started on a new project and we were drawing turkeys. Today, I am going to show you how we are going to add color to our turkeys. They're not going to be colored using typical colors that you think a turkey might be. They're going to be very bright, colorful turkeys. And I will do that demonstration in just a second. All right, so last time you worked on making the turkey. Um, today what we're going to do is Sharpie, and then we are going to go ahead and start painting. Now, if you have watercolor paints, I would like you to paint with watercolors. Um, if you don't, you can uh, use crayons or you can use markers. So I am just going to sharpie a couple of spots on my turkey so that you can see what it will look like once I get going. Now you though are going to want to make sure that you sharpie everything. Now I am using a thick sharpie. However, if you have small shapes like small feathers things like that you may want to use your skinny sharpie it just kind of depends on how you drew your turkey so i'm coloring things in like this it's okay to use the sharpie to color the inside part of the eye and i'm going to call this good for the sharpieing part now when when you're done with the sharpie you always want to go in and erase the pencil lines that are left over. It just makes your project look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> and then I am going to start painting with my watercolors. Now, you have two options for painting your turkey. You can make it very, very bright and colorful, or you can make it look a little bit more like a turkey. So if you wanted to make yours look a little more bright and colorful, you could do like a red feather, an orange. You could do like the color of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, um, or indigo purple if you have enough feathers. It just kind of depends on how many feathers you have. So you simply could, remember you want to get the puddle in your paint, you simply could go around and paint each feather like this, okay? Now, if you wanted to make your turkey look a little bit more realistic, you would want to paint the body brown um, and then on the feathers, I'm going to make this little waddle is what we decided it was called and make that red. But for my feathers, I think what I want to do is um, still add some color in. But I think I'm going to do like a stripe of red wash my brush good and do a stripe of orange I need to stir my paint a little bit more so it's a little bit brighter so a stripe of orange and then I also want to do a stripe of brown like that okay so you decide how you want to paint your feathers. You can paint them very bright and colorful, like a different color for every feather, or you can paint it like I did here. Uh, the body of your turkey, again, you can do it bright and colorful if you want to, or you can do it brown like a, a turkey's feathers look. And then when you're completely done with the turkey, you're going to want to let it dry a little bit. Um, when you see, I don't know for sure if you can see this in the camera, but where it's shiny, I have kind of puddles of paint. So I don't want to paint when it looks like that. I want to paint my background when it looks like it's dry, so it wouldn't be shiny anymore. And you can decide how to paint your background 
Maybe you want it to be on dirt, like it's walking through a farmer's field that's plowed up. Um, maybe you want it walking on grass. And then how you want your sky. Do you want it to be a sunny day and the sky is blue? Um, do you want it to be a cloudy day and the sky is more of a gray? It's up to you how you want to paint your background, but again, wait until the turkey is dry so that the paints don't all mix together and kind of make an icky color, okay? So for next time, I'm hoping that we can start a new project. I want you to try to completely finish this, which means there wouldn't be any white space left on your paper, except for the white of the eye, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know.